Here we are, Lowe's in Port Richmond, and this is where RoboCop, the Robo, the RoboCop security guard, was a robot had a bunch of cameras on him, and he would patrol the parking lot here at Lowe's. Um, RoboCop, I, I one day I just stood here for about uh, two hours just watching RoboCop. In that two-hour time period. I saw somebody hit the robot security guard with their car. People just, just walk up to it and punch it. And uh, I am sad to report RoboCop no longer patrols the Lowe's on Aramingo Avenue. Uh, Today is Wednesday, April 10th, and Mayor Sherelle Parker has been in office for 100 days. And on her first week in office, I drove down Kensington Ave and a few other spots in the city and uh, we're going to see if there's anything different in the city with the new mayor. It took the mayor a while to gather up a team and hire, you know, all the people in her, her office. And um, some of the things that the mayor's done is uh, she hired a police commissioner just for the Kensington, the Kensington corridor. So there's there's a cop who's in charge of this neighborhood. The corner stores have to close before a certain time. Maybe I think it's like midnight on the weekends. And what they think that does is that prevents people from loitering. This is the intersection of Kensington and Allegheny. There is a 24-7 live feed of like three or four different cameras of this intersection. And, you know, they do clean up this section a lot. A lot of street sweepers and the city cleans up. But there are still tons of people openly using and selling drugs on these streets. I get really nervous driving on this strip from Kensington and Allegheny to Kensington and Clearfield. Over here is a um, Savage Sisters Recovery. That is a place where people would go uh, if they were living on the streets, they would get showers. They also did um, like needle exchanges, wound care. They would check out people who had like infections in their wombs. This this trank that people are shooting up is eating away at their flesh. The number of amputees I've seen in this area over the last four years has gone, you know, you would see one once in a while. Now you see multiple people missing limbs every time you walk that drive down Kensington Ave. Uh, sisters, Savage Sister Recovery, um, some people would say they enable, uh, um, and, uh, some people think they're necessary down here. The city doesn't do much for them, so there, there's two sides to the story. Um, so there's another section, another place called Prevention Point. And this is also another spot where people can get f food, get a shower. Uh, this is where I get Narcan. I always, whenever I'm driving in this neighborhood, I always have Narcan um, with me. And I always get it from Prevention Point. But there's the new city council member uh, of this district. I forget her name. Um, she seems to be going after places that... Uh, help out the, the people addicted to drugs. They're trying to make it less comfortable for people to stay in this area. All right, we're at Lehigh and Emerald. And right down the street, those are the Kensington Courts, the houses right there, all those new properties. They're going for $300,000. If you go down this street on Emerald, there are usually encampments. It looks like the city is down here cleaning up today. They have street sweepers and uh, probably cleaning up underneath this tunnel. Uh, this mural was painted 
less than a year ago. Mm, hashtag piss. I'm in the car and hashtag piss. Um, this mural was painted less than a, two years ago. People camp here now. There's there's a, a fire. One of the, the big problems, too, is uh, safety on SEPTA. SEPTA is our public transportation system. And we have a train that goes into Center City, drives through Kansas, and goes to Frankfurt. And uh, during the pandemic, it, it kind of got crazy on, on the L. I saw people die, people piss, people smoke all types of drugs on the L. I don't think that's changed. The mayor has hired more SEPTA police, but... I'll show you what they do, and it's really, they can't, they, they have a little bit of authority, but it's, I'll show you, I'll show you, I'll show you what they do. So we're going to be coming up to the L stop on Allegheny Avenue. Again, here's more crews cleaning up the streets. There, there are street cleaning crews on Kensington Ave. They, um, almost, God, it feels like every day they're, I'm down here, they're down here. So you'll see there's going to be a large gathering of people. And they are like on city property, not, not SEPTA property, property. So the people will line up right here. And they, this, the SEPTA cops just keep them clear of the steps. Go ahead, hon. A lot of the problems down here are, are drugs, but a lot of it's mental health, a lot of it's both, and uh, I've seen two or three guys who are wearing hospital socks, who, or hospital bracelets, who just, you know, they just got out of a hospital, but they look, they look like complete shit, and they should stay in the hospital, but because, you know, the, the insurance companies and hospitals, the way they are, they just kick these people out. I've seen uh, Kensington and Cambria. Go ahead. Oh, thank you. You're going to let me go in front of a cop? There's somebody giving out clothes. This is only like one block. The Kensington Ave's right there. They come off. It's a pretty nice looking block. The houses are in pretty good shape. Parking's a bitch. I wouldn't want to park in here. My uh, elementary school is where I went to school in the uh, late 80s, early 90s. Right there on the corner, that used to be a penny candy store. And uh, the biggest security issue was the crossing guard. Her job was to make sure we never went to the penny candy store. Now... They have police patrolling where the school is. They just put in this fence in front of the school recently, like within the last six months. And the reason why they had to do that was people were using the steps to uh, shoot up on, sleep on. People were pissing and shitting in the fence. But now they got these cops walking around patrolling. What, what are they doing exactly? I don't know. But they're here. And you see how scary... The people who are using drugs are they're rolling up their sleeves. Because crime isn't enforced in Kensington. Yeah, this side right here, at, in between Kensington and Clearfield, Kensington and Allegheny, the encampments all the way up here, have, I've never seen them this bad. Most of the people usually... Most of the people usually hang out around here. Yeah, a lot of people just hang out at Kensington and Allegheny. That was the, the big spot. Also, down here... Yeah. On Hilton Street, there was a lot of encampments back here. Now the street is completely empty. I should mention, it's about 75 degrees today. Another thing, there was another law passed that you're not allowed to wear ski mask 
in Philadelphia, in the city parks or Philadelphia buildings. You know what reminded me that? I, I just drove past four people wearing ski masks. I am one mile north of K&A, and this, look at all the new construction going up. There they are, hot Kensington chickens are in the line. This is the Kensington and Somerset Elm stop about a decade ago. This is where the majority of all the drug addicts and drug dealing and the crime and that's this is where it all happened and it kind of spread um, right there that's a, a library and in there that's a playground that was donated to the playground the playground was donated by the Ed Snyder Youth Found Foundation uh, Ed Snyder was the owner of the Philadelphia Flyers there are a few playgrounds in Kensington that the Flyers have made really big donations to the area. There's an ice skating rink in another park called Scanlon. If you drive around the park, this used to be a real big hub of like people camping out, doing drugs, lots of like fires. And now they have the only person really camping out in the park are uh, the cops. And that's the thing you gotta remember. Like, people have to walk their babies down the street because the L stops here, or they live here, you know? And uh, the kids who grow up in this area, walking, I, 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 one of the craziest things I've ever seen was right on this block where I'm at, I saw a lady die. She was dead, she overdosed. They, they brought her back with Narcan, right? No pulse, brought her back, dead. And I remember I saw two or three school kids walk right past a woman who was uh, dead. And they didn't even look at her. They didn't even like, like it didn't even affect them. And their lack of, of shock shocked me. And uh, I, um, because I know if in, in my day, if I went to school and I saw a dead body, I would talk about it almost every day. And that's not even... The, the, the real shocking thing is... The, the woman who, who was dead... They brought her back with Narcan. And... Um, 20 minutes later... I saw her getting high. And matter of fact... I saw her the next day... When I was down here filming a video. And I... You know... I was talking to her. And... Uh, you know... Addiction... You can't... You can't beat it. It's, it's tough sometimes, you know? All right, so that's it. That's my little update on 100 days of the new mayor. Uh, I don't know if anything can change as long as we have the district attorney we have, but maybe some signs of improvement. I will remember you. Will you remember me thank you robocop